Marhaba, assalamu alaikum. In this video, I have a quick pronunciation video for you. The pronunciation here is going to be actually very, very easy. It's going to work for beginners as well as intermediate and advanced learners. And it's just a simple kind of reminder. I'll pronounce it, pronounce this this way and this that way, but it's going to make a huge, huge difference in the way you pronounce words. Let's get started. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about the fatha and the alif. Yes, if you're, if you're an advanced learner, you already know this, but stick around because there's a few things that you may not... يعني, no, you would know it, but it's mostly a reminder that's going to help you a lot. So, let's talk about the fatha. The fatha is just a quick, short vowel sound. Ah, it's specifically an ah, not u, not e. There's an u, there's an e. This one's ah, okay? So, samaha. With a, with a word like this, I'm going to read it to you. Samaha. Notice, it's quick. It's boom, boom, boom. Samaha. I'm not saying samaha, 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 okay? Notice this word. The second word here, we have an alif. This is the, the letter alif, which is an a. Technically equivalent of A in, in English, but it's kind of more extended. Okay, so it's it's that's why when we when we transliterate, we have two A's. So I'll write something like A A. So you know it's Samaha. So to read this Samaha and exaggerate. Even if you exaggerate the sound, it's it's all in your mind. You're gonna think it's exaggerated, but it's not really. And I would rather you exaggerate the sound and get the the right word out than mispronounce it and be in a hurry and be too shy. No, let's pronounce it right. This is Samaha. Quick Samaha. This is not Samah, this is one A, Samaha. This is how we translate it for you. Here, Samaha. Samaha, he permitted. Samaha, he forgave. Okay? Don't worry about the Ha. We're not going to talk about the Ha, letter Ha here. This is not the goal of this video. I want to show you the, the Fatha and the importance of distinguishing the Fatha between the, the, distinguishing the Fatha from the Alif and getting the pronunciation right. So, Samaha, Samaha. Samaha, Samaha, boom, 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 ta, 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 okay? Now, let's take it a step further. This, the, the pronunciation difference between these two words, well, even though it's very, very subtle, it will change the meaning completely. Just like we saw here, so Samaha, you permitted, Samaha, he forgave. Here we have Jamal and we have Jamal. Notice, Jamal, if I write the double A for you, you extend, you know there's an alif there. Jamal. Just one A, you know there's a fatha. Uh, uh, uh. Jamal. Okay, so here's Jamal. Jamal. Do you know what Jamal means? Okay. Jamal means camel. Jamal. Jamal. Okay. Quick. Boop, boop. Jamal. Ta, ta. Uh, uh. Jamal. Jamal. Okay, we have an A here. Just the same A that we have here. Ja. We have it here. Ja. But mal. We have this A. Jamal. Jamal. What does Jamal mean? Jamal means beauty. Jamal. Okay? Look at the difference. Camel and beauty. So, yani, uh, very different, very random, two completely different things. But it's all such a subtle difference. And with these two, you 100% already know how to pronounce them. There's no ayin, there's no ha, there's no kha. It's, it's a simple, you know, simple letters to pronounce. Jamal, Jamal. But the key thing is perfecting. Well, first, before perfecting, just identifying when you have a short vowel, when you have a long vowel. How do I identify this? If you're reading Arabic, you see the fatha, this is a short vowel, uh. If you're reading English, you just see one A. Now, if you, uh, with, with, the, with, the, um, with the alif, if you see this, this is the letter alif, you know it's ah, uh, and you see a double A here, jamal. Notice the first ja, this first syllable here, is represented just by this letter, ja. Don't worry if you can't know, you don't know how to read and write, I just wanna show you because I just want to show you how to read and pronounce the words because chances are, um, and even if you don't know how to read and write, chances are you're reading the transliteration and I want you to get the pronunciation right even with the transliteration. That's the whole point of this. Knowing why we have double A, it's not because I'm, it's, it's not Jamal, it's Jamal. Huh? Here is Jamal. Okay, hopefully I didn't, I didn't bore you with all these tips and that they are indeed useful for you. I'm, I'm bringing these up because I do see a lot of even more advanced students kind of mispronounce certain words because they, they're not extended where they need to or they're mis extended where they're not supposed to extend okay i hope that makes sense all you need to remember whenever you see double a extend even if it has to be exaggerated extend it okay i'd rather risk that than or exaggerate rather than risking mispronouncing the whole word and sounding completely different okay so and the samaha quick samaha extend samaha samaha jamal Jamal, even if you have to extend, Jamal, okay? Hopefully these help. Let me know what other words you think of that have given you trouble, that are like, oh, this is supposed to be like 
so similar to this word. It was just a, an extra A here. There was an Aleph here instead of a Fatha. Let me know what other words you can think of. See you in the next video. Wish you a good video, Jai.